switching to Linux, day 12 of the 30 day challenge. So on day 12, general consensus, really loving Linux. And I can kind of see why so many Linux users are real particular about uh, Linux in general, but kind of they distro hop. There's certain things I've grown to like about Fedora, but there's also some stuff I've grown to hate about Fedora. Uh, the main one being the home directory separating out from uh, the root. That's not uh, particularly fun having to manage, especially if I only installed this on a solid state at 120 gigs, so it wasn't uh, a big solid state. So my home directory just completely ran out of space this last couple days, and I had to put in a 240 solid state, basically effectively doubling my storage and cloning that drive. That sucked because I used Clonezilla to clone the drive, and instead of just omitting defeat and then just doing like a DD to clone it, I decided, you know what, I'm gonna figure this out. <laughs> so uh, it when I cloned that drive, it didn't map my root, my home directory, or my swap. So what that did is it threw me into an emergency boot mode. I had to rescue the OS and uh, basically go back in and uh, run one command, remap it all, using my new UUID from the new uh, drive. Uh, overall, a little bit more complex than I would have liked, but at the same time, I learned something new. So I enjoyed it, and if it was an average user, you would not have done any of that. You probably would have just said, screw this, and done a different clone using something other than Clonezilla. Um, however, being who I am, I was just like, hey, I'm gonna figure this out. It's kind of a fun project. So uh, almost lost my install there <laughs> on my clone, but I had fun doing it. Um, but kind of that was just a general update of what I'm feeling like not loving Fedora, but uh, I'm still sticking with it. I said I'm going to stick with Fedora for at least 30 days, and then I'm going to kind of make a decision um, which distro I'm going to move to next because I will move off Fedora. I've pretty much decided that, and one of the cons here basically the only con that i'm going to talk about today is a big reason why so moving on to the pros here um i've noticed uh, my audio quality when i started looking at my videos now when i'm recording using obs and linux uh the audio is actually a little bit better than windows i was kind of surprised at that in just a comparison between uh my fedora instance and and windows so very good overall Another pro is the Linux selection. I wasn't really aware of how versatile Linux is. Even though some things are Ubuntu only for the packages, um, I can't really say I've really gone out of my way and done a bunch of changes in, in building and compiling for different versions of Linux. Um, and I've learned pretty much anything that compiles in Linux will compile in pretty much any distro. It's just a matter of getting on GitHub or getting the source code from that person and uh, building it yourself. So uh, it's a bit more complex. A normal person would never do this, but uh, it still adds a lot of selection. And on that same front, uh, there's been times where I've voiced my displeasure with a certain Linux product and uh, kind of told, you know, just in one of these YouTube videos and had somebody in the comments go, well, that's dumb. You should just use this software. And I've gone and used that software and go like, oh my God, I can't believe this software isn't just plastered everywhere across the Linux community. Um, it was that way when I, you know, kind of came out and hated on GIMP. People were like, well, don't use it. Use this. Don't use Photoshop. Uh, and I went and started using that. I'm like, God, I love this. This is so much better than both Photoshop and GIMP. Um, and there's been other instances of that, at least two other instances of that. Um, so the selection in Linux is just awesome. The just jumping from this to this and this um it's a little bit daunting i guess at start but i'm really loving that uh 
And, uh, you know, it just goes to show why so many people and why there's just this cult following of Linux. Um, now moving into the cons. Uh, I started installing some games and doing some light gaming in Linux. I'm not a big gamer these days, but uh, I did know Fedora 29. Basically how Linux works is the latest and greatest, which Fedora 29 pretty much runs bleeding edge when it comes to Linux kernel. All those drivers are packaged into the kernel. Well, sometimes manufacturers make proprietary drivers such as NVIDIA or AMD. And Fedora doesn't like any of these packages for the most part, or at least Fedora 29 doesn't. There's some people that say, hey, you can downgrade the kernel to this and then run this package to make it uh, work. Um, and that's just not a very good solution and i don't recommend anybody doing that just switch your distro at that point so uh fedora 29 i'm not really pleased with when it comes to i needed to install amd uh graphics drivers and the latest and greatest kernel doesn't support like FreeSync and uh, a lot of the performance for vulcan i'm not getting from this driver um, if you guys have any input on this, please let me know in the comments. If I'm completely off base, this is just my opinion, what I found. Um, and I wanted to use the AMD GPU Pro drivers, and I just couldn't get them to work. I went ahead and started using some open, you know, CL, uh, CLG, open GPL, and trying to get these drivers to read properly. One big software I wanted to start using was DaVinci Resolve. I've loved Caden Live and I'll continue to use Caden Live even if I like DaVinci Resolve. I imagine I'll still use Caden Live just because of how fast I've gotten in it. Um, but I wanted to use DaVinci Resolve and I couldn't because of a lot of driver issues and open seal issues I have. Mind you, I am running a Vega 64, a uh, very unique GPU, but it is a very modern GPU that works very well in Windows and also Ubuntu, where I can download the AMD GPU Drivers Pro and install it. So before I switch distros after this month is over, so I want to show you guys the error I'm running into. I'm just running a basic CL info and I'm fairly certain a lot of my DaVinci Resolve issues and AMD driver issues and some gaming performance uh, sluggishness I think all stems from the kernel drivers. And here is what I'm getting on a CL info on my Vega 64 card. You'll see a lot of errors down here at the bottom and in the middle here. And I know it's just missing some stuff. Obviously, like FreeSync and other things aren't compatible with the Linux driver. And I'm just not getting the full performance that I should be getting. But I just wanted to kind of show that up there real fast before I go crazy and start installing a bunch of distries or going and doing like a CentOS where it's more of a stable environment but it is running basically year old Linux. Um, I, I, I don't know how far back they're going on the kernels, um, but give me, let, me, let me hear your guys' input. Yeah, a lot of the best things I've learned from Linux is from the comments section from YouTube. And I love this back and forth and you guys saying, hey, you should be using this or whatnot. It has really just changed my view in the community of Linux. It's just fantastic. So uh, that's it for me. And just, that's my checkup of the day from my switching to Linux. Overall, loving Linux. Just not liking Fedora that much right now. I don't know. Maybe in a week or two, I might work through some of these issues and that'll change. But we'll see. Thanks for watching my video. If you have any feedback or comments, please let me know below. And if you'd like to see more tech videos, hit the subscribe button and check me out on my website, chrystitus.com.